pictures taken instantaneously. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, I talked about rabbits for a really stinking long time. And in this episode, we are going to make our way into the Vim Factory, or at least make our way into making a pathway into the Vim Factory. Factory ahead. Oh, poor guys. Just gonna keep on doing what we've been doing, throwing the babies into those tree stumps, and getting whatever goodies are inside. Unarmed jeans. That's a new item for us. Let's see what they're all about. Uh, let's get them back up here, though, because I can't examine my inventory without us all together. Eh, you can, but I'd rather not. Let's go to equipment. We got unarmed jeans. What are they? Those are for the babies. Uh, power granting jeans that... Uh, turn the wearer into a reckless berserker. Okay. But it lowers defense in the process, so... Here's how I play uh, RPGs in general. I very rarely give my characters any sort of items that involve losing stats. I know this might seem good in like the long run, like if you do like a comparison, but my general rule of thumb is that if it decreases a stat, then I don't give it to them. But here's the thing in this specific situation. Because the babies are constantly piggybacking off the big bros, they don't get hurt by enemies throughout uh, the majority of battles. So for that reason, it's actually kind of a good idea to uh, equip uh, this to one of your characters. Uh, when they're off on their own, though, it might be a good idea to switch back to whatever you're currently using. But for now, I think I'm going to give the unarmed jeans to Baby Mario. Hopefully, I won't uh, regret that too much. Also, I'm just a master at dodging all any and all attacks, says the person who got a, not got a game or like lost a character in the last episode. But yes, as you can see, we do five damage. Let's see, Baby Mario does eight damage, and then Baby Luigi does five damage. So you can see the difference right there. The difference in power. I'm uh, just going to keep on doing that. I know we could be using the shell, but I don't really want to because that costs item usage. I don't ever like using items because I'm a cheap little butt munch. Hurry up and do that, and we're all good to go. Get experience, and no level up, unfortunately. Let's see if we can make our way up here. Unfortunately, I don't have any sort of interesting story I could follow up the rabbits conversation for this episode, so hopefully I could... Uh, Come up with something else to talk about. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and uh, get rid of these. Because actually, this would have been a good fight to show off the fire flower. And, oh, god darn it. If I wasn't attacking them all right now at this second, then I would use the fire flower. Because I'd be like, oh, a bunch of enemies. So it'd be a good idea to just uh, hit them all with a really big attack. But now that they're all doing their attacks now, they're uh, before Luigi, I don't want to use the fire flower because I already did damage to them. So. Wow, that was a great attack. Uh, do that. Get that. So unfortunately, I am forced to wait it out, I guess. But I guess I didn't have to make you wait it out with me. So there you go, editing power, green shell, and a level up for Mario. Mario! We haven't upgraded the stash yet, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll just upgrade whatever the heck I want in any future level ups. Three for the stash. And then Luigi goes to level six. Luigi starts with a level 30 stash, which is very most dishonorable brew because I refuse to have Luigi have a better mustache than Mario. As I uh, go ahead and upgrade his stash even further. Yeah, I know it makes a lot of sense, but whatever. Uh, we got him taken care of. He was the one in this one, right? Well, uh, that doesn't make sense because it can't be in there. But no, we already just went through this one, so we're good. Uh, my question, we already... I really can't... Okay, there you go. I was like, I can't walk through that pathway. That'd be awkward. Not mean to leave the babies behind. Uh, we got nothing, it seems. Okay, pick them up and be on our merry way. I uh, can't talk to these guys, unfortunately. Head over here, and we got more ghoul guys, or boo guys, excuse me. I swear ghoul guy is the name of an enemy somewhere in some game, but not this one. And there you go. Get the experience and coins, and as you can see, it is not difficult to get coins in this game, though items are pretty expensive, so you end up losing them pretty much as soon as you get back to Peach's Castle. Though, as long as you're doing all the fights along the way, you should have no problem in just being able to purchase whatever you want, whenever you want, and what? I was already here. That's confusing. Uh, where am I coming from? What the heck is that smell like? I always have like a bunch of weird smells coming out of the vents in my apartment. I assume it's from whatever is being cooked upstairs, but it's kind of annoying to deal with. It's like it's always fish of some kind. Uh, so I went through that one already. Did I just go in like a big old circle or something like that? I think I did. Okay, wait, yeah, this is just a circle. Uh, so up here. Got a cutscene here to save the day. 
Okay, great cutscene. So over here, you can see these platforms are uh, submerged in the water, so we can't get across. Of course, we can't just swim across. No, that makes too much sense. So instead, we are going to have to go down here. And Oh, there was an enemy down there. Let me go back up real quick, because I don't want to have to fight them. I'll separate and stuff and mess up the flow of experience for everyone. Plus, it's just easier to uh, get jo the job done when you have multiple characters with you. Baby Mario gets a level up. Getting all that uh, EXP and upgrade his non-existent stash. And Baby Luigi gets a level up. We're gonna upgrade his non-existent stash as well. Ooh, a plus five. Very, very nice. Now that's taken care, we got one more item up over here. This on the coin block. Uh, can't reach up there quite yet, so we're gonna go back a little bit. Uh, excuse me. Do not take damage from that, thankfully, but travel advisory. Ride the floating panel below to conquer thorny paths. Any blocks should get the floating panel moving. Toadwood District Rangers. Throw them up here. Go down here, and we're going to do is put the big bros on this block and have the little ones hit it right when it's uh, pointing to the left or the right, because I don't know what direction it's going. Uh, just going to do that. Have the, hit that. So it pauses. Go over here. Get ourselves a wallet badge. So uh, kind of a good reason for us to not have picked up those badges from before because we can get them for free right here. Drop almost no coins when fleeing from battle. Might as well equip it because why the heck not. And go down here. I believe we can't climb up there. Not quite yet. We're going to have them hit this block now. And just ride this across. This puzzle's not the greatest in the world, but thankfully it's only in this one area where it shows up, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, do God darn it. At least it wasn't a first attack. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, this leads just to backtrack, I guess. Unfortunately, you can't see the map when you're separated like this, so we're just gonna have to take a risk and hit over here? Um, I guess we could bring the bros over here if we wanted to, but the question is, do we want to? I think we were pretty much done with that map from before, so we could do it. Just make absolutely sure. D don't tell me the platform went back to the... Yeah, it did. So, okay, we're going to have to bring him on over here anyway. Okay. I don't think we missed anything too valuable anyway, so... Go bring him over here. Watch it turn out that I, like, missed a... The Cobalt Stars are all hiding in that corner all along. I'm just going to have to backtrack at the end of the game or something like that. That always seems to be the case. Uh, two green shells and another hundred coins. Grab that. And this block right here, you're gonna wanna jump with a bro, a big bro, and then jump again with a little bro so we can reach it. Y, X, B, A. Kinda simple, but whatever. At least we're using the superpower of teamwork, so we're teaching good morals. And we'll never have morals. Morals! I don't know why that was the first thing that came to mind. Uh, we can get them up here. Excuse me. I like the noise it makes when like you pick them up and throw them. Bro, flowers. I really need to start using those eventually. Uh, I guess we're gonna go this way. To more spikes. Spikes as far as the eye could see. Mushroom Mario. Mushroom Mario is his middle name or something like that. Nah, not really. Uh, let's see. This will be the point where I would check the roulette and see what seems to be giving us the best numbers. Uh, defense is looking pretty good right now. And so speed. I'm going to give myself extra defense. Four defense. Very, very nice. Got Luigi up next. Get his stats up. And we got pretty good. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do HP. God darn it. Uh, Would have been fine if we got more than just one. But of course, Luigi could only ever get ones in this thing because he's Luigi. Okay, sorry, I still haven't shown off the fire flower yet. I would like to, but I'm almost certain that the Elasta Piranhas are immune to fire attacks, so I'm just not even attempting to try it. Uh, let's see. Go over here, throw the babies down here. And we have another one of those blocks, so get Mario and Luigi over here. And we'll move them downwards this time. Uh, why'd you stop? I guess that's as far as we can go. Alright. Just ride along this thing right here. Just have Luigi jump to make sure. Oh, look, we got a platform. I wonder if we'll make it, guys. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Head over here in this. Just let to the switch that we need to hit. And we can now access that pathway. I don't think the babies could jump up there, so we can't just meet them on the other side by having them find some sort of warp block. So we have to ride this all the way back, all slow-like. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, just some floating appendage in the sky. 
Appendage in the sky. I don't know why I'm making these references. Uh, it's a special kind of person to reference appendages, I guess. Um, go up here. Uh, we do have a question mark block, or not question mark, like a warp pipe block. So we just bring them on over here. Pick them up. And time for block number two. Hit that, hit that, hit that, and hit that. Making good progress, at least. I remember this being, like, a lot longer than uh, it wound up being. I guess the first area was kind of long. But it's going to be even shorter with all the fights I've been cutting out. So I guess I could just keep on recording forever and ever. Uh, get one coin and one up mushroom. Hooray. The only thing with the one in it that I actually like getting. Or that's actually worth it, I guess I could say. Uh, just grab that. Don't want to have it disappear on me. That would be very unfortunate. Get you guys and keep on going. Nothing else over here. Head on down. And we got more stinking tree trunks. We're almost all the way back around, so you don't have to worry. Oh, okay, well, this one was actually required, so I can't be complaining too much. And I remember there being, like, items along the path for this one, so we're going to want to pay extra attention. Doesn't seem to be anything right now, so how about we go downward? How about we do this so we can see the entire area on the screen at once so we could get a better idea as to what we want to do. This does nothing. Cool. Uh, my plan has been foiled a little bit, so just do that. Uh, still nothing. There's like no items around here. Oh, there's one. I knew there was an item around here somewhere. Uh, we got one coin. Uh, let's see. We got that platform right there. We will stop it around here. Uh, Mario, can you make that jump? Yes, you can, because you're super like that. Uh, I like how just because Luigi got... Oh, that actually showed us where another item was, so I guess it wasn't too bad that that happened. Uh, but yeah, I like how just because Luigi gets hit, Mario's butt feels the same pain. That's brotherly love for you right there. When your brother's butt hurt about something, you your butt feels just as hurt as well. That's true passion right there. I don't know, it was really super weird. Uh, gonna go ahead and jump on that and get two green shells. Uh, go downward. I just thought of like a really cool idea for like a video game themed dinner party or something like that. Like, how about having uh, cheesy shells, like Velveeta cheesy shells or mac and cheese, and using like green food coloring to make them look like green shells? Like, get it? I remember when Kraft mac and cheese they used to they introduced that green cheese and stuff. Like, it wasn't actually green cheese, like blue cheese or whatever. It was just colored green and like. That was all the rage those days when, like, just make it green. Kids will love it. Remember, like, the ketchup? They started making, like, different colored ketchup. And, and some, I don't even like ketchup to begin with, but, like, I wanted to try all the different colors of ketchup. Green was terrible, and then purple made me want to vomit. And uh, it was just not a pleasant experience. So uh, that's what I get for trying new things, I guess. Uh, was there anything else up there? I don't think there was. But let me just check real quick. But, yeah, I don't know why they got rid of the green mac and cheese. That was the bomb diggity back in the day. Uh, let's see this, we already got, so we could just head back down. Sorry for wasting the time, but whatever! Okay, oh, I almost made it, god darn it. Okay, got back to where we were. So, uh, moral of my story? I don't know, make more green food. That isn't actually organically normal green food, that would actually be good for you, because food that's good for you is lame, not really. Um, I recently got into the spinach and artichoke ravioli, and it is so stinking good, but I cannot find it anywhere anymore. It's like... Just when I found it, they stopped selling it everywhere, and I contacted the stinking company that made it on Twitter. I was like, where is it? I can't find it. And they were like, I don't stinking know. Ask your grocery store about it. I feel like if I asked them, then they're going to be like, ask the company that made it to give us more or stuff like that. Because that's sort of the way it is with GameStop when, like, uh, they don't have the games that you're looking for. They're all like, uh, it's because the company was given to us, not our fault. Uh, but whatever. Uh, this area. I remember this song playing in the final bosses dungeon. I don't know if it is or not, but I guess we got this on playing now. I don't know, it's just, I remember this area was just a pain in the butt, so maybe it just felt like final boss material for me. I have no idea, but I think it would be in our best interest to, uh, well, judging by the map, I think we could just keep going, actually. That's considering ending the episode off, but, or continuing forward, but I don't, oh wait, never mind. No, I was right all along. 
Area restricted. All noob intruders to be hacksawed by us Leet Hammer Bras. We are Teshrub allies. We rock soar you and then raffle, then you am cry. We receive orders through antennas on these Leet helmets. They are hotness. We must obey all orders. We like to pwn noobs for Ted Master Shroob Zors. U equals noobs. Bros equals Leet. Prepare for total ponage. Woot, 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 woot. Evil nostrils! <laughs> noobs still are not pwned. Continue ponership until all noobs are pwned. To escape is impossible. We are too leet. We owns Jew. You will get flat sword by our lead hammers. Go, go, let's go. We got a mini boss fight with just the babies. Not only is Baby Mario a low HP amount, but I just remember that he has the low defense pants equipped. Great. I also remember dying to this fight a lot as a kid, so this is even more amazing. So this would be a good time to show off our bro flowers. You just press the X button as fast as you can when it's on Mario's turn, and Y as fast as you can when it's on Baby Luigi's turn. Very, very simple. Go ahead and do that. See how much we can do. Great commentary. Okay. Uh, what's he gonna do? He's going for Baby Luigi. Lisa. Okay. Oh, I gotta remember that. Okay. So. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, when he went for Baby Luigi, his hammer broke off a little bit. Uh, when that happens, the ball's gonna bounce over your head. So you, if you jump, then you're gonna end up hitting it in the sky. So you don't want to jump during that one. It's really sick and tricky, and it can mess you up a lot more than you would expect. Uh, let's go for the green shell this time. If you get rid of one of them, that would be really nice. So, I don't know if you want to just focus all your attacks on one of them, or if you want to uh, you keep on using bros flowers and hit them both at the same time. Uh, let's see, can't do that. Okay. The green shell d isn't an infinite use item. It will run out eventually, or like it'll stop eventually. So you can't. If you are really good at the combos, it will cut you off at some point. So it's not like you could just defeat an entire enemy with just one of them. Though that would be really cool if you could. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on attacking them. But in terms of like their elite speed, which was very obnoxious and stuff. Uh, looking back on it now, I'm so, uh, rather than cringing over the fact that it's in this game, I'm more so shocked that it is in this game. Considering when it came out, this game was 2005. Like, did that sort of lingo exist back then? Like, maybe it was just, like, really late to the party, but, like, I didn't have a cell phone in 2005, and, like, I uh, hardly knew anyone who did. Like, it was the ones that had, like, wasn't an iPhone. So I, I like, actively avoided cell phones. It's just, like, I hated the idea of texting because uh, the way it worked with, like, you had to press the buttons multiple times uh, to get the letters you wanted. It was just really sick and annoying. They eventually ha added the keyboard phones, but then, like, they, the keyboard was so sick and small, like, it was horrible to use and stuff. Uh, but then, uh, iPhone came around and I was like, oh, hey, texting actually is decent now. So, but the lead speak stuff, was that even around back then? Like, maybe with internet culture, but was the internet even around back then? Maybe I was just, like, had no friends back in the day, so I don't ha have anyone I could have uh, experience this sort of thing with, but I have no idea. Uh, gonna go ahead and give Baby Mario a mushroom. I know there's like certain ways that he does his hammer throw that makes it so it'll bounce over you, so that's what I thought was about to happen, but it didn't, so I guess it's just like the different sound effects that show you which bro he's going to go after, but since it's just one of them now, I could just jump with both of them at the same time, like I've been advising you to do this entire single time. Take your own advice, Midnight. Just keep on attacking. I'm glad that I'm actually able to commentate while the attack's going on. And of course, as soon as I say that, I mess up. Uh, let's see. Jump. Uh, pretty simple. All right. I guess uh, the good idea would be to get rid of one of them just so you could have easier attacks to deal with if you consider this to be an easier attack. Uh, just keep on using the shells. Ouch. Uh, speaking of, like, the cheesy shell thing, I always remember thinking that, uh, turtle shells and, like, clams in general would taste, like, super delicious because of mac and cheese shells. Like, I always, like, I group them up as the same thing, even though that makes no sense. I don't think it know. It's just, like, they look the same, so I assume that they taste the same, I guess. So, we just gotta make a stinking cheese-shaped 
squash, and then I'll have it. I don't see it. This is a weird conversation. And then he just throws that, throws that. I swear he had like a different attack, but oh well, do not want to do that. Uh, we have even green shells and red, and red flowers, fire flowers, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we got a lot more fire flowers to work with in the future, but we're still going to be using the green shells. It is uh, good to just be getting better at using them because the fire flower takes no skill, so it's good that I'm just uh, working back up the skill to use the green shell properly. And he's done! Cool! And we got two mushroom drops as a reward. Whoa, my helmet antenna, it's broken. Oh man, yes! Hey, mine broke too. Talk about lucky. I mean, did you hear what was coming out of my mouth? I know, dude. Seriously, who talks like that? Anyway, I think these tots freed us. You think? You little taters trashed our antennas? Right on! Seriously, thanks. You were save you saved our bacon. We were not right in the head. So listen, you gotta let us thank you by hooking up with these spare hammers. Thank you very much! You got the hammers! Now you can be hammer bros, but we'd better teach you how to use them first. Safety first, after all. Just giving a bunch of toddlers of these evil hammers or whatever. Ready to learn the ABCs of hammer and stuff? We'll explain from up top, so open those eyes, guys. Okay, here's step one. Press R to change the action icons into a little hammer dealy and a spinny thingamajig. When those icons change, X and Y do different things. Move. Uh, more on that in a sec. Once you change the action icons with R, all you have to do is press X. That'll make baby Mario swing his hammer. Whack! He can smash obstacles and smack walls and stuff. Give it a shot, little man. I'll be waiting up ahead. Very vigorous bouncing, so we're gonna go ahead and switch it to hammer. And we can break blocks now, which is really cool. Or really nice. Yeah! How? Oh, sweet! And it was like, ooh! Alright, you're a natural kid, and now it's time to learn the second hammer action. This one rules. I'll let you it'll let you tunnel underground and pass the blue gates and stuff. Like I told you earlier, press R to change the action icon. When you press Y, that'll put you in a shoulder stand. Then press Y again. You'll tunnel into the ground like a baby drill. Pretty cool, am I right? You ought to be able to go right under this barrier here. To pop back up, just press X or Y. Let's see it in action. Rocket boys! My boys! Yeah, you just press Y to get on his shoulders and spin to the ground. Very, very cool. Keep on doing that, and we made it to the other side. Try to avoid making the Great Showman reference. One thing I never got, you can't tunnel into a hard looking floor like this one right here. Alright, so we can actually do that, that makes sense, because uh, baby drilling powers do not surpass hard cold steel, whatever. Go ahead and do that, but it does work against purple thingamahoozies. Uh, switch back to jumping so we can actually jump. And hit the block that he's standing on, or sitting on rather. So ended the hammer practice, little buds. Little buds was his Rakuen. Oh wait, we've got one last bit of special info for you. While you're out adventuring, look for suspicious marks. When you see one of these marks, drill underneath it and then pop out. If you come up under a mark, you'll get a bean, tots. If you collect lots of beans, good things will come your way. Quote of the day right there. And that's all we got to tell you, taters. Use those hammers to hurry up and rescue your pals. Let's break, bro. Aw, uh, such a missed opportunity to say later, taters. But yes, we have gotten a new ability, the hammer, and we are going to use it to save Mario and Luigi in the next episode. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we're going to explore the Vim Factory in search of our missing bros. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.